So you might be in a situation where your location or GPS isn't working within an application. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, if you're in an application like Snapchat, for example, and if for some reason the location is inaccurate or it's not working, none of the filters are working, or if you're on Instagram and you're trying to do something, whatever the case is, the very first thing I'd recommend doing, whether you have an Android or iPhone, whatever you have, you want to make your way over to your settings application, just like so. And what you want to do is you want to go and make your way down into privacy, that little privacy option. So under privacy and security, on your Android phone, you basically want to just look up where your location services are enabled at. And what you want to do here is click on location services and just to make sure your location services are on. If this is disabled, meaning that toggle is off, well then that basically means that your location wasn't even on in the first place. So just make sure your location right there is on and that will probably end up fixing the situation probably for a majority of people out there. So let's say that actually ends up working out and that ends up fixing it, then you're pretty much good to go. The next thing I would recommend keeping your eye out though is if your location isn't working is sometimes in some areas your location may not be fully functional, may not work. If you're like in the middle of nowhere or if some things aren't working right or whatever the case is, randomly things like that can happen. So in a situation like this, your best bet is to pretty much just go through and just see if in the area you're in, if you're not having any sort of you know signal, any like Wi-Fi, anything, even if you don't have any signal or whatever, your GPS may still work, but it's not a good sign. If those things aren't working, your GPS may not be fully functional either. Now on top of that, make sure you didn't really see drop your phone or throw your phone or anything like that either. The components within your phone are very sensitive, so that can cause some issues. Another big thing you can do though is to update your iPhone. So basically just go through and go into your settings of your iPhone, click on general settings, click on software update, and just go ahead and see if you have a software update available. A majority of the time, usually you may just have an update available and that's probably all you'll have to do. You just go through, update your phone, and that may end up also fixing the problem as well. So. Those are pretty much the main ways to do it. If it's a specific application that's causing the issues, you can also just make your way over to your app store, update the application that way, and that could end up fixing the situation too. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.